Yo, what's good, everybody? It's POS Prodigy here. Come back to another gameplay, and today we're playing Destiny. And I have done the impossible. I have beaten the raid boss finally. After what two weeks of doing this, we did it. This one was clutch because we kind of fucked up right here. I don't know, right here, and then we get the boss, whatever. So this is Axis. This is the final boss in the Wrathing Machine raid. He's not that hard to beat, but people dying can fuck everything up. So, the recommended light for this boss, well, this, his light is 380, so be somewhere between 375 and up. Like 374 or something. Don't be really below 375. You can be like one light level below, but that's like, that's fine. Because he will fuck you up, because I'm like 376 and he was fucking me up. At least the ads was. But, we somehow did it. I don't even know. I'm gonna walk you through it. So, on this boss, there. If you've done him before, on the sec, the second to last boss, you get the chest, second chest. He has these servers that come out and whatever. You have to shoot him with a special cannon. You're doing that, but when you get the charges, you throw them directly at him. Okay? Throw directly at him. Just three charges. His shield will go down. This is what you would do. He then, before. The charges before the servitors come out, he will grant empowerment. Empowerment, probably when I had it the first time, when I slammed on him, that's the empowerment. You use that to slam on him. It will switch. So every time you stun him, which is uh, uh, when you slam on him, it will change. That's the third time that it won't change. Third time is like the major DPS phase. So you have like, I would say close to 15 seconds of dps time so yeah so right now uh ads out right now and we just wait for him to teleport three times he'll teleport three times and then he'll bring empowerment you'll see in the bottom left corner so what you have to do with the empowerment is uh make sure you grab this well this is what me and my team did the person who was empowered grabbed the uh scorch cannon or whatever cannon it is you grab it and you use it and then as soon as you use it you run back to the spot that you were on before when you got empowerment so i'm on the right side so if i got empowerment and i grab the cannon i would shoot at whatever cannon i have whatever and i would come back on the right now i think i do get empowerment here and you can see where i'm going to hide at uh if you're right you want to hide right there right here i just hit that corner that's you want to hide at and then i grab the cannon right here and I had arc. I think, I think I had an arc. But we just needed one cannon. Well, I think, no, not one cannon. We needed one. I think I almost, I almost fucked up. <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> I clutched it right there. <laughs> and you see, I'm going back to my spot. Because this is right side. If you run right, you want to stay right here. Left, uh, I, I'll show you a video. Well, probably I got to do left side. But so he's teleporting and he goes to mid. So. Yeah, he does spawn in front mid and back mid, so make sure you have some people that know. So then, I'm not in power no more, so then the thing switches. So then now we just do a DPS, and then he goes to left, and then he goes back to middle because we did enough damage. So now he's in his final stand, which is Oryx mode. So I have bubble, I pop that, do the damage, and yeah, I'll up just speed up the process. I was just live streaming this, you got my live reaction to it. And Gallahorn for the win. And boom. That's how you complete the raid. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. Share the video with your friends. And as always, folks, stay classy. I will have some videos coming out, like on the full raid review or something like that. I'll probably do it in a live stream and explain it. Or have somebody explain it in my live stream. So, peace.